Hey guys, Jason Weimer with ChristmasTrainTraining.com, and uh, we're here for our Power Devo in my workout studio, my garage that I train a lot of clients out of. And today's a little different one I'm throwing at you. Now, I'm a huge proponent of squats, lunges, deadlifts, the basics of training. But you know, often people have in their closet stuff that they're just not utilizing, and they think, well, I've got to have a gym membership, or I've got to, you know, I can't really train because I don't have any stuff. And it's amazing to me what you'll find in people's closets. Usually people have some dumbbells sitting around gathering dust. And, interestingly enough, people have ankle weights sitting around. Usually, like, you know, a couple of pounders. And I've actually got five pounds loaded up in this one. I'm going to show you some stuff that you can do with some equipment, like an ankle weight, that you might think is useless, that's only used for walking. But there's actually some interesting stuff that you can do as almost like an alternate uh, leg day away from your regular squats and lunges that you're used to doing, just as a way to change it up a little bit. I've actually been taking some of my uh, advanced athletes through some of these uh, exercises. So give this a go. If you've got ankle weights sitting around your house, take it, slap it on your leg, and give this a go. Now, find somewhere you can kind of hold on to so that balance isn't too much of an issue, and hit just a basic hip abduction. Somewhere in the 5 to 10, maybe 15 rep range, whatever works for you. Immediately stay with the same leg. Let's do a raise and extend. Now this will be interesting because you often don't extend the hamstring while the knee is also going into extension. Say, so we get some actual hip flexion, so we feel a little stretch of the hamstring, and then an extension right here at the knee. So this is a little different challenge also. Plus your balanced leg, glute medius, and some of the other cool parts of your stabilizing part of that hip is having to, to work overtime right there. So again, you would hit 5, 10, 15, wherever your range is for this. Stay with the same leg, go to something I call donkey kicks. This is kind of interesting. Long spine, bring the knee in, and extend straight back behind you. Try to straighten out the leg. The higher you can get it, the better. Okay? And you'll be amazed. This might be a great change up for you if you're used to only running or, like I said, hitting those basic squats, lunges, deadlifts. Uh, this might be a nice little variation for you. So the ankle weight is not useless. All right? In fact, I don't believe there's any fitness equipment that's actually useless. You can always find some good in it. And as we transition into our Devo part of this, that's a powerful lesson to remember for us as Christians. You're not useless. God made you for a specific reason. He gave you skills that probably no one else has. And, you know, we're all part of this kingdom of God together. We're all called uh, to be his people, to be, to be his ambassadors. And so think about the skills that you've been given and apply those. You're not useless. You know, in the Bible, if you think about it, take Jesus and God out of it, there's a whole cast of characters who really thought they were useless until God revealed to them what their true calling was. Let's think about Moses. Actually, if you read out of Exodus, uh, Exodus 6, this is pretty interesting. This is pretty famous words. You might have seen the Charleston Heston movie. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go, tell Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to let the Israelites go out of his country. And we often think, man, this is where Moses just, you know, took, took the bull by the horns and became this amazing leader. But listen to what he said back to God. But Moses said to the Lord, If the Israelites will not listen to me, why will Pharaoh listen to me, since I speak with faltering lips? He actually thought he was useless. He didn't even think there was a purpose for him until God said, no, I've called you to actually be the leader. And so um, God's given us all the abilities that we need to recognize. And so even if equipment like ankle weights sitting around in your closet and you're thinking, ah, oh, that's just useless equipment, I can't get anything out of it. I've shown you three, three cool little exercises you can do. And think about that uh, when you think about how you fit into the kingdom of God. You are useful in his kingdom. There's your power devo. Live with strength.